Hi, this is James. Uh, today is Thursday, August 11th, 2022. We're at 8 o'clock at night. <clears throat> Working on this uh, Gap Titan DX. I got a couple of questions I want to ask the company and any other hams that may be familiar with this antenna. So I'm going to go through here and do a little asking and some video. So there you have the tuning rods. One of the things it says in the manual is the longer tuning rod right there is supposed to have a longer wire. Those little wires up there, I guess those three are shorter and one of them is supposed to be longer. Well, I didn't know anything about that until after I put the antenna up. So, first of all, I need to know how length are those three jumpers and how length, how long should the fourth jumper be that's supposed to be longer. The manual just says put the longer jumper on the longer tuning rod, which is that one right there. <clears throat> so, yeah, you can see what that one's longer. So, those little tuning rods up there, those jumpers, is it critical that one be longer than the other? The manual doesn't elaborate, but it does say that the longer jumper goes to the longer tuner. All right, here's the second question. This rod right here, it's longer. It just goes up inside of this piece and it just kind of rests in here. Is it supposed to just be in here loose like this? Like that? Here's the other one. Now, on this one right there, you can loosen those three and you can bring this little trombone up and down to lengthen that. And I'm guessing that's where you make adjustments at. I don't know. Once again, if you look right there, there's some set screws. Right, right, right there. There's some set screws right there to loosen this. To, to make this go up and down through it. Here's my next question. Third, these aer these four aerial horizontals. Okay, these two fasten in with set screws. These others, they just kind of slide into this pipe and there's nothing to tighten them down. They slide in there and there's no set screw. There's nothing there. My question is, are they just held in there uh, with the uh, counterpoise wire? And you have the counterpoise wire that goes on the end here. And do these counterpoise wires, do these things just slide over here like this? Look, do these things just slide in here and stay in here loose? Or do they tighten? And then they go around here. And here's another one. It's just kind of in there tight. And you have this counterpoise wire that comes over here. And these two tighten together with a butt connector. And then it goes over here. And then you have some Dacron rope right here. And you're supposed to have a little plastic Teflon nut, which dry rotted and broke. So how come this counterpoise isn't metal all the way around in a complete circle. Why is there a Dacron rope separating these two pieces where they're insulated? And finally again, do these things just, just stay on here like this? And here's the Gap Titan II. Up. And of course, I got a water tower in the backyard. I got a metal fence. I got a tree right here. I got another tree over here. I got a metal fence here. And I got a Ron 25 tower here. I'm sure my lobes are going to be all out of whack. It's not going to tune properly because of the size of my backyard. And there you have it. And again, this is James, uh, amateur call sign, Kilo Golf 5, Papa Tango Echo, Belton, Texas. Thank you.